Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to cover Azure Pipeline. Using Azure Pipeline, we want to deploy Maven based Java application on Tomcat. What I am going to cover is create Azure Pipeline. In that, we are going to have stages like uh, build with Maven and uh, copy war files onto remote Tomcat server, followed by restart tomcat so that uh, the application gets deployed for the purpose of demonstration i have created one java project i created an organization in that organization i want to set up this pipeline let me navigate to repos uh, there are uh, multiple repos created in my uh, azure devops account i want to use uh, java maven project for this demonstration okay so this is a sample application i want to deploy using azure pipeline okay go to pipelines click on create pipeline now where is your code let's choose the repository where our code is residing our repository is azure repos you can integrate azure pipeline with uh, other git providers like bitbucket github etc in our case the project is residing in azure repos let's select that and we got three repositories for this demo i want to use java maven repository now uh, it's asking for uh, i mean it's asking us to choose a template for this uh, a pipeline setup okay uh, we are setting up uh, a setup which will do a maven build and which will copy the output war file onto remote tomcat server followed by which does a restart of tomcat so you can click on uh, show more or what i will do is uh, better click on show more and let's choose maven okay we got two options for maven the first one is simple maven and second one is maven package java project web application to linux on azure the tomcat server we are using is running in amazon account aws account so here the point is not about where tomcat is running the point is about how to set up azure pipeline to build and deploy java maven applications onto tomcat server i choose first one and it auto populated some code right here trigger is a master branch okay and the pool where this job should run i am using ubuntu latest you can simply put any vm image you wish to use okay and we got the steps like maven pom file location and other maven options this is auto generated uh, we don't have to really worry much about the details of each and every uh, stuff in maven task okay you can simply leave it uh, what this task does is it will create a package okay uh, it takes see it will check out from master branch and it will create a package out of that uh, java code let's click save and run save and run the moment we save and run the job is in the queue right open that the job is starting this uh, maven build process takes two three minutes rather waiting for that to finish what i will do is i will pause the video and i will come back once the build process is done Okay, meanwhile, let's do this. Let's go to AWS console, go to EC2, click on instances, Tomcat server. Tomcat server is set up on EC2 instance in AWS cloud. Uh, it's running on this public IP. Uh, let's connect to this. Connect. I will show where in which path Tomcat is installed and configured on this machine. CD 
opt tomcat 9 that is tomcat home location on this ec2 instance if you do ls you see web apps for deploying applications onto tomcat we need to keep we need to copy war file into web apps folder let's keep note of this path why because that's required for us in next stage of uh, azure pipeline let's go to azure pipeline and check if the job is completed successfully completed maven task is completed successfully scroll completely down because it has to download dependencies so it takes some time to finish the build process we also can configure a cache for uh, caching maven dependencies uh, so that uh, second time onwards it will not download from internet it it will save lots of time but i'm not covering that in current uh, demo fine check this guys so it is creating a war file that's cool now let's go back okay see it is successful edit edit so next stage is copy correct i want to copy files over ssh so for that we need to create ssh connections and i need to specify the folder and the contents in that folder and target folder so first we need to create connections ssh connections for creating ssh connections let's go to project settings open that in separate tab under project settings we need to uh, create uh, service connections service connections here uh, create new service connection new service connection is ssh okay select click on next provide host name or ip address public ip of tomcat server port number is 22 private key the ssh key used for connecting to this machine one second cancel this this guy scroll towards right the key name is hari2 i have hari2.pem file on my laptop i need to browse that so come here click on upload browse downloads open click ok it got uploaded username for amazon ec2 linux default username is ec2 user password no password in place of password we are using private key service connection name Let me call this uh, Tomcat Dev Connection. Description is optional. So let's keep it uh, selected. Save. This created a service connection of type SSH. Correct. Come back. Come back and again uh, search for ssh okay copy files over ssh tomcat dev source folder specify the source folder which contains war file okay so what i want to do is so i want to use a built-in variable agent dot 
build directory slash okay so i am providing the location the the folder where war file contains okay so coming to content star star slash star dot war meaning under this folder in any of its sub directories take war file that is the source folder source content and target folder target folder is the folder on tomcat machine so we want this file under slash opt tomcat 9 web apps okay meaning from the build take this war file on tomcat place it under web apps folder okay uh, for tomcat web apps is the folder for deployment so select advanced so we need to flatten the folder so what happens right when it copies this under web apps what it does it will put like something slash yes target dot war file okay but i don't want this structure i don't want slash yes slash target after it copies okay for that what i do is flatten folder means it will put the war file directly under web apps itself add okay so this will copy the file i mean this will copy war file onto tomcat server and the next step is restart tomcat ssh run shell commands or script on remote machine we want to use same connection right uh, let me select inline script slash opt slash no tomcat 9 slash bin shutdown dot sh startup dot sh that's it so we need to align it properly like this one second please not sure why okay oh got it got it yeah yeah ssh endpoint perfect yeah this looks perfect okay we are building with maven we are copying war file onto tomcat and we are stopping we need to change the order first shutdown then do a startup perfect so after saving this it will trigger pipeline job and it should do everything from beginning like maven build which takes two three minutes then copy files onto tomcat and restart tomcat so i will save this save this click on pipelines and see this it got scheduled just now open 
and open the job it's preparing okay it's cured and yeah it started uh, it's going to take three to four minutes so I will pause the video I will be back once the maven and uh, complete pipeline job execution is completed perfect guys it it completed successfully right so let's verify that let's go to this server we need to refresh connection got timed out cd into opt tomcat web apps and i see that okay so one second take public ip of tomcat 8080 right take the folder name take the folder name perfect right so we have seen complete azure pipeline demo which will do maven build and uh, copy war files to tomcat server restart tomcat so i want to show one more thing like let me change the color in the source code which will automatically trigger the pipeline and it automatically deploys the code so go back so go to uh, repositories click on src main web app open index file edit okay let's change the color to red let's say we are doing uh, a look and feel change make a commit do the commit go to pipelines right see just now it's queued up just now because the moment we commit changes the pipeline gets triggered automatically and uh, it's in running state again it's going to take three to four minutes so i will be back once this process this job completes a pipeline finished successfully let's check its output do a refresh and perfect so it's successfully deployed so guys that's about our uh, uh, azure pipeline example with uh, maven tomcat and java thanks for watching uh, if you have any queries please uh, comment i will respond to those comments thanks a lot